All right, so can you see American movies here in Korea? Are they in English? Are they in Korean? Are they in Korean and subtitled in English? Vice versa. The questions, there are so many. But in this video, we hope to answer every single one of those questions for you, starting right now. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Alright guys, now we're in Daegu, South Korea, and if you guys want to come and see a movie here in Daegu, we're down in the Jungangno Station area, and you actually have four different theaters to choose from in this small location. Like, not even half a mile area. You have four different theaters to choose from. We'll show you guys all of those right now. So you may still be wondering, well, are the movies in English or not? You showed us these theaters where they're at, but you haven't said if the movies are in English. Yeah, they're in English, okay? So how it works is these movies are in English and then there's Korean subtitles. Koreans on, in general learn English in school. Uh, about the way we learn Spanish or French in school, so they understand at least a little bit, but they love our American movies, and so they watch them here and just read the subtitles. So that's what you can expect when you come to see these movies. Now, if you're coming to see a movie that is originally made in a different country like Japan, like Dragon Ball Super Broly, when it came out here, we went to see it, and it was in Japanese with Korean subtitles. There was no English, let's get out of the way of this car. There was no English in the movie whatsoever. So we were sitting there, we were making jokes the entire time of what was going on, what the characters were saying. So it was still a blast. It was lots of fun. So now we're gonna figure out which theater we're gonna go to, and we're gonna go see Detective Pikachu. Now, if somehow your movie's still not playing at one of those four theaters, like ours isn't for another hour and a half, there's still tons of stuff to do down here in downtown Daegu. Let's go show you some stuff. So one of the big reasons we like going to CGV is that if you're seeing a movie, a movie in a normal screen theater, not like a Screen X or a uh, 40X or IMAX or 3D, but a normal 2D movie, just the normal movie going experience, for military members, you get half off of your ticket price. So this place is really competitive with the on post uh, cinema on Camp Henry. So if you guys are military members here in Daegu and you wanna go see a good movie off post, CGV is the best way to go in my opinion. And when you go to get your uh, discount ticket, you actually go up to the people at the ticket box here, not the ticket box kiosk over there. Because the people can give you the discount, but the kiosk can't. That is so good. Alright guys, 
guys. So, wow, that was a pretty good movie. I give it honestly a solid six out of 10. Yeah. Uh, it was a pretty predictable plot. And anytime I can predict the plot, I can't give it more than a seven myself. Um, the acting could have been better, uh, but you know, it was a cute movie. And for it being the first live action Pokemon movie, I think it was good enough. Yeah. Easily good enough. It hit me in the nostalgia bone real hard. Yeah. Yeah, I like that they did a lot in a, in a lot of the places. It was really quirky and really yeah. funny. Um, but I predicted the plot like like a quarter of the way through. So yeah. it, but it was a good movie. Go see that. Uh, but guys, this is how you go see movies here in Korea. It's not difficult. You understand it. Uh, you're, you're paying less than you normally are back home to go see a movie. So come check out a movie here in Daegu, South Korea, Seoul, Korea, wherever you're at here in Korea, go check out some movies. It's totally worth it. All right, guys, and if you like this video, make sure to hit us with that thumbs up. And if you really liked it, make sure to... Subscribe. <laughs> Pretty sure it translates pretty well to subscribe. Yeah. So, alright, bye guys.